Hello. Right now, I am running an operating system called Zorin. Z as in Zulu. O-R-I-N as in November. Zorin. Um, it is based on Ubuntu. But there's actually something you may find familiar about it. I'll give you a moment. Looks like Windows, doesn't it? That's because that's exactly who Zorin is targeting. Let me give you a little tour of what we've got. First of all, in case anybody's curious, with accessibility we do have three magnifiers and one screen reader. We'll go ahead and activate the lens magnifier. And now, the beautiful part about Linux is that you can customize it to any keystroke you want. Um, so I've chosen Control Alt M to activate the magnifier. So I'm going to do Control Alt M. There's your magnifier. So let me show you how I got this. We're going to go down here. And as you can see, we've got a start menu. Looks an awful lot like Windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in comp is and what we want is the comp is config settings manager and we'll go down here to magnifier and as you can see I've got it enabled it's not enabled by default you can um, you can set up any button combination you like for example again I've got control alt M to activate the magnifier Control Alt button one, which is your left mouse click to zoom in. Control Alt button three, which is your right mouse click to zoom out. So uh, that's one magnifier you can set up. Now, in case anybody's wondering, in with this particular magnifier, you're stuck with the lens configuration. But I like it because it gives people who are not necessarily used to using the magnifier um, an idea of what's going on around them, while we as visually impaired people, people who are visually impaired, can um, can utilize this magnifier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go back into our start menu and I am going to type in keyboard shortcuts and as you can see it's just like in Windows 7. If, you, if you've used Windows 7 this should be extremely familiar with to you. It should be practically no learning curve whatsoever. Um, so let's go down here right here. These three are labeled as unknown action. But you can see I've assigned the first two to mod 4 and plus and mod 4 and minus. Mod 4 and plus is your Windows key which in Linux is the super key. If I hit, hold that down full screen magnification and you can actually use both magnifiers at once so if full screen is enough for you but you need maybe a lens to get in here so um, so let's say you zoom in, oh, this is not quite enough, but I want to have a good idea of what's going on around me. Control Alt M, boom. You got full screen and lens at the exact same time. Now tell me, can you do this in Windows or Mac? I haven't seen anything yet that can do it, especially not for the price of Zorin, which incidentally is free. So let's go ahead and zoom back out Let's go ahead and close one of the other things I love is the effects watch what happens when I close this Oh, well it fades out but um, what I meant to show you was we'll go ahead and you use the start menu you see the start menu faded in watch what happens when I get out of the start menu kaboom it explodes um, so anyway let's take a look down here at our taskbar you've got Google Chrome which is your default web browser you've got um, Empathy, which is your messaging client, and you've got your file browser. Now, those three, along with the media player, are what are down here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I goofed. You get Google Chrome, the media player, and the file manager at the same time upon your default install. Um, I'm sorry, I'm having a little trouble speaking. It's late. Um, what we have here, if I click here, is um it gives us a moment to load 
is openoffice.org, which is your Microsoft Office equivalent. And kaboom, it just exploded. Um, and then you've got the terminal. For new users, I would not recommend the terminal. Um, too much of a hassle. Let's take a look at the Ubuntu Software Center next, because a lot of you are going to be wondering, well, how do I install software? Well, actually, this is a perfect example right here. I'm just about to install Pac-Man. Yes, there's actually a Pac-Man. It's a clone, but there's Pac-Man available for... Ubuntu for uh, Zorin, excuse me, Zorin is based on Ubuntu Linux, but it's a lot more polished. Um, and for Windows users, it should feel right at home. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and install. This is one of the beautiful parts of Linux. Every time you try to install or remove software, it requires your permission. This, in, this makes it, I wouldn't say completely impossible, but almost impossible for you to have any viruses on your system because if there's a, if there is something you will be notified now why do I say almost impossible because if you accidentally if you end up logging in because um, there are several distributions of Linux not just Zorin and not just Ubuntu last I counted there were over 300 different distributions um, if you accidentally log in as root and you leave yourself as root that is a wide open door to uh, people that know what they're doing so being forced to put in your password and become the super user or root which is to say you have access to everything in order to install applications is really really nice also it's good because I just installed um, if we go in here we're going to start go into games you can see that I've installed let's see where is it here it is open arena Open Arena is um, a first-person shooter. Now, I give you fair warning for anybody who's played first-person first shooters. I've had very little experience, especially, and I've never done a multiplayer before. So, if anybody's watching this and they may see me in the Open Arena, which is essentially part of uh, Quake 3, as I understand it, if that ha if, the, if they, um, if you guys should see me in the arena, cut me some slack, okay? Because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but I just wanted to give it a shot, which is why I downloaded it. But this piece of software right here contains adult material. It is not intended for kids. And that is why I'm glad that you cannot install anything without your password. It doesn't matter who you are. You need the root administrator password in order to install something. So let's go ahead and put that password in now. And what I'm saying is, parents, um, you should not have to worry about... Um, about uh, your little one getting anything, um, downloading anything without your permission because again you would be the only one with the password um, you know so anyway so you're, we can see it's installing And we're done. And if we ever wanted to remove it, we just go ahead and click remove. So we'll go ahead and get out of here. And let's go ahead and... Well, first of all, let's take a look at our start menu. Excuse me. Browse the internet. That would launch Google Chrome. Email would launch an application called Evolution. To my understanding, Evolution is similar to uh, Outlook, except I should warn you that I do not um, use any of the... Uh, uh, any of the uh, system-based email clients. I've always gone to the web. If we go into accessories, now everything, this browse the internet and email is always up here at the top, and I'll bet it's because it's what you want to probably, I'll bet you want, excuse me, I can't speak, um, but you'll probably want to do the most. Activity journal, calculator, you got your simple text editor, you can manage your print jobs, search for files, take a screenshot, you got your terminal and your little notepad here is Tomboy Notes. Let's go back. Games, as we've already seen. Um, we've got All Riot Solitaire. Um, Extreme Tux Racer. Basically, you're tuxing. You're sliding down the, down the uh, snowy slope on your belly. Trying to catch fish. Frozen Bubble is... Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's... Um, 
It's supposed to be a clone of some game, and I can't remember the name of it. But essentially, you aim this um, gun or cannon or whatever it is, and it shoots off bubbles, and you have to match the colors, and they break off. So it's, it's a nice little puzzle game. The one thing I cannot figure out how to do, if anybody's watching who knows this, how do you turn off the music? Okay. Uh, G Brainy. Um, I really haven't played that. Hollet's Castle is a 2D uh, game. You have to collect the keys or the gems before the time runs out. I've never played Mahong. Uh, Mines is a Minesweeper uh, uh, clone. Again, we already discussed Open Arena. We got Pac Man right here. And notice, we just downloaded Pac Man. This is where it goes right into games. It does not. Um, try to make itself known amongst a billion apps. It's very, very organized. Uh, Quadrapacel, which is basically Tetris. You got Sudoku. Super Tux 2. That's a fun little game. It's basically a Super Mario clone. Uh, Super Tux Kart, Super Mario Kart clone. If anybody wants me to demo any of these games, please let me know and I'll make a separate video for that. Uh, so we got uh, graphics, for anybody who's interested in that. You've got the GIMP image editor, which is a Photoshop... I wouldn't say replacement, but depending on your needs, it might suffice. A lot of people are saying it's a Photoshop replacement, but I'm hearing otherwise, so. Um, but I don't, I don't know, to be honest. I, I, don't, I haven't really touched it, so. you got OpenOffice.org Drawing. You've got Scribus, which is a, um, as I understand, it's kind of like Microsoft uh, Publisher. Photo Manager, Shotwell, uh, your simple scanning utility. You go back. Internet. You got your Empathy Messenger client. Again, you have Revolution Mail. Um, can't remember what Giver is. You got your Google Google Chrome web browser. Can't remember what Gwibber is. This one's cool. This Internet Browser Manager. Let's go in here. And again, it wants our password because you do not want to do. Linux does not allow you to do anything. Um, unless you're root. So let's go ahead and go in here. And did I enter my password properly? Probably not. Uh, to suffice, suffice it to say, um, I'm not going to bother going back in there. But what that allows you to do is that allows you to go in and actually install other browsers. Wine allows you to run Windows software programs um, inside of Linux. Ubuntu Software Center. Um, that's where we just were to download Pac-Man. Let's go back into Office real quick. Full Office Suite. Uh, presentations, your PowerPoint, your, your spreadsheet, your word processor. Now, some versions of OpenOffice, depending on how they're bundled, will come with a database. Uh, you can download OpenOffice.org base um, from any other uh, place, so you don't necessarily need that. Um, places. You got your home folder, which is where everything is, your My Documents, everything. My computer, access to your drives, network, your trash, and then you've got uh, shortcuts here to things like pictures, videos, etc., etc. Uh, let's go into system tools. Um, you got the backup utility. Bleachbed allows you to clean everything out, which is really, really nice. Uh, system profiler, Ubuntu tweak, which is a lot of utilities in one. I've never touched it. Uh, let's go down all the way to the bottom here. And let's see. Let's go to System, Preferences. There's a lot of stuff in here. And for those of you who are new to Linux, you can see all this stuff that comes with it. It's, 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 it's amazing. Look Changer. This is what I wanted to show you. We go in here, and what do you want? Do you want Windows 7? Do you want the standard GNOME, which is the desktop environment this uses? Or... Do you want it to look like Windows XP? If you come in from Windows XP, you can make it look like XP, and uh, you don't need to worry about adapting to a whole new interface. It's the exact same thing. Um, but as you can see, it's very easy to install software. Your file manager here is um, very easy to use. You get access to everything, or you can go to the Start menu. Um, it's just a great util just a great operating system, really. And the beautiful part is this thing costs zip. Comments and questions are welcome. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.